so it's a little darker and a little drier than the Triago Bass. So what I'll do is I, well, I should get on that thing and tweak this recipe that I got. And drop it down to eight pounds. Hello? Hey. I don't know. Oh, there is, there is fire. There is something going on. Yep, it looks like it. I see the smoke. Two and tonight I am going to be drinking. But I'm not even prepared right now. I'm going to be drinking a one of my oop barley wines. I had this actually on a keg, and I bought it a couple bottles. And uh, actually, I just found it. So here we go. There we go. Got a nice little carbonation. That's all artificial. Put it in the keg. Actually, it just fizzled out on me. Man, you can tell you can tell it's uh, it's got the uh, the oak on it and the bourbon. It smells really good. Wow, it's eight percent. It's a little light body. I kind of like uh, a little bit uh, a little bit fuller. But uh, this was uh, my party guile. I actually I got about. Four gallons out of it, and uh, I was supposed to finish out with three gallons for my carboy. And uh, so it's a little bit weaker than what I normally would have, but uh, it's still it's still fantastic. So eight percent, I'll be able to sip on this. Actually, a lot of my beers are over eight percent anyway, so this is really a light, a light uh, barley wine. So this weekend, uh, my my footage that I've got, uh, I've got some brew day footage from uh, doing an ESB. So my homebrew club, uh, it's called Seven City Brewers here in uh, Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, we are having a lawnmower beer type of uh, competition. It's not really a competition, I guess, but uh, supposedly I, I guess you can win a T-shirt like I did last month. So, but. I am not going to uh, use my own recipe. I'm actually doing ESB from uh, uh, Big Twin Brewery. Big Twin Brewery. So uh, the Super ESB finished fifth in the SJ Pour Challenge. Uh, I really like that beer. Uh, I'll put a link down below of my, what I thought about it before during the SJ Pour Challenge. It was a very, very good beer. Uh, it was uh, one of my favorite from the SJ Poor Challenge, so I was very fortunate that I got into the finals, so I got to try that beer. So that is a smoking beer. Uh, so so got the ESB challenge. Uh, just found out uh, that I have a friend. He's actually going out to Bremerton next week, so I've got a beer mail heading out towards uh, Pauly Detmerds. So uh, I'm all excited about sending that out. Uh, expecting a phone call from Polly uh, tonight, so uh, we'll I'll be able to get my friend to hook up with Polly, and maybe they'll have a couple beers, and maybe they'll have a good time, and he'll get a six pack of my beer. So uh, so that's the best way for a beer mail. It doesn't cost me anything. Send it out, and uh, uh, maybe maybe Polly will send me a couple beers. I don't know. I'm not asking for any beers, but uh, if he does, he does. If he doesn't, I'm okay with that because I got plenty of beer here to drink. So uh, the rest of the uh, foot footage is coming up right now. Uh, Brew Day uh, brewed with uh, Barrage Brewer. Uh, he did his SJ Pour Challenge beer, and his beers came out real. I mean, really, a lot. A lot more alcoholic that or the starting gravity was way more than I was expecting from my uh, from my beer smith uh, recipe or calculator so I'm not sure how he got so much uh, efficiency on his but uh, his is gonna be a big beer uh, other than that I think that's it because I got plenty of footage left 
So I will see you guys next week. Dude, this looks like coffee already. Here's Raj Brewer. He has actually started his Borloff. Hey, look at that. That is dark. Uh, Dan, he's doing his SJ Pour beer today. And, uh, are you going to say what it is? This is the Quizette Tatarac Porter. It's got a special ingredient I will not mention right now, but it's going to be the super being of beers. Yeah, I'm not going to try to say it. And then I am starting mine. This is the ESB. Everyone's probably going to recognize this is a super, super ESB. Uh, big Twin Brewery. Big shout out to you guys. You. And uh, let's get started. Oh, beautiful day out. Nice and sunny. This is where we are relaxing during uh, during our mash. So, okay, that's it. Dude, this smells awesome. That is a dark beer. Smells amazing. I can't wait to make granola bars out of what's left. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> so Dan's he's uh, collected all of his and going to dark here. I'm almost there. I got like another, I think uh, about a quarter of a gallon. So okay. Look out. Looks like about 16.7. 16.7. Initial breaks. Mine was 10. So, not sure. It seems a little low for me. Yours seems a little low too? Yeah, mine seems a little low. I was expecting at least 18. We're going to check it out. So, LJ and Brady are watching me brew from inside the house. I got the window open for them, so you keep an eye on me. Make sure I'm safe. Right, LJ? Hey, Brady. So, I'm about 15 minutes into my boil. I'm doing a 90 minute. And, and then Dan, Barrage Brewer, he's already added his first edition hops. He's only doing a 60 minute boil. But he's got a nice boil going. So, there you have it. Okay, got about a, uh, an hour left. So, out of my 90 minute boil, I'm going to add my hops now. Doing uh, two ounces of Willamette. Whoops. So, there we go. Got a nice little cup here. There we go. That was one of my 60 minute hop drop. So I missed the 15 minute hop ad, and but you can tell I did it. So I got five more minutes left. Actually, I got about 10 more minutes left and add my uh, five minute hop, and I'm done. Dan Barrage Brewer, he is he's like cooling down. down now. What are you down to? 140. Nice. Five minutes left. Last hop drop. Cool down has started. Got everything hooked up. Don't have any snow over there to help me out with the free chiller. So go ahead. Down already. That's awesome. I haven't checked the gravity yet. Uh, I'm gonna do that in a second here. But uh, pretty good brew day. I'll be back with the gravity and uh, about it. Oh, I forgot to tell you uh, my final gravity on my beer 
was 1056, the bricks was 13.9. So my efficiency came out like 75%. So I just want to let you guys know what my, my gravity was. Uh, I forgot to put it in the in the brew day. And it's percolating right away, uh, going, going to town upstairs. So uh, there you go. See you guys later. I like getting the beer and splitting it two ways. So you can drink more beer of driving and not getting hammered. Yeah. Like last night. Last night we had uh tell you what, that chocolate, the chocolate milk stout without the caramel on it. It's fucking good. That's that's why I, I wanna make this batch again. I'm just gonna do the chocolate. I'm just gonna do I don't know. I'm damn with the caramel. That's it's pretty good. This dude got 49 bottles out of out of the second. That's pretty good. 49? Yeah. Oh, Giddens? Oh. Yeah. That's pretty good. I, I liked uh, the assembly line method that uh, Rick used. You watch his video, it was like three minutes long. He was him bottling and then he sped it up. Oh, uh, Rick Fish? On Blue 62? Is that this week? Mm-hmm. I, I caught I'm up watching like, more videos than you! I would know, I caught up on like freaking three of his. I don't remember the, the bottle. Sure. He makes some good ass beers. It seems like he makes some good ass beers. And jo Josh from Northern Accent, he seems like he's he's just breaking into this shit. So. Yeah. He's like me. He's, he's learning.